What's up, peeps? Um, well, according to the old Instagram social media, people like this hopper. Um, calling it my double barrel. <laughs> eh, you'll see why. But it's a uh, foam body using flow foam. Yeah, pretty easy. Uh, I already have most of this like pre-made already. So when you start this, hold on, let's just do this quick. So put down a thread base, it just helps out with gluing purposes. And most of these I've been making like eight of these at a time, whatever color, I wish they had more colors. Because I kind of feel like I'm limited to what colors I'm doing. but Okay, so when you cut this, you want to cut your little PC at two and two and a quarter inches long. And we're going to double this down. So just match your eyes, or your eyes, the tips. Put the tips right at the eye of the hook and just press. So once you get that where you want it, get your glue, get your crazy glue. This is kind of a pain in the butt. That's why I just do a bunch of them at a time. And pinch that together. And the other thing I've been doing is taking my razor blade. So when you press it, all that glue comes to the top. I've been moving that glue to the back. So all of that gets glued. And then just hold it for, I don't know, 15 seconds. And you're good to go. Just like that. A little brighter out here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So with that, you so I'm doing the one that I did with the one with the real skin on it. And where in the world is it? I don't know. But it's that real skin. It's pretty cool stuff, dude. And I was thinking the other day before I tied that, I was like, I wonder if I could actually use my cutter, cut it, and put it under the body. Well, it worked. So when you put that on, because you want the reason why we cut that foam at two and a quarter inches is that when you put when you double it down, it's the same length as this. So I matched my cutter. So I got three of these cutters. So I got to match all three of those foams when I cut them. And when you go to put that on the hook, you got to eyeball about right in the dead center of that and put it right in the middle. So when you fold it over or put it up your hook, it matches perfectly. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, if it hangs over a skosh, I mean, who cares? It's a fish. <laughs> so, but with that, we'll start tying here. So, I tie it backwards to start. To do the extended body. And just start right at the back. Tight wraps. And I just go until I can see the thread underneath. You don't want to overdo it. Just stay consistent. Looks good. And as you go, this is where you want to start making sure all your body sizes are the same. You don't want inconsistent. <laughs> All right, one more right towards the back of the hook. Oh, you dirty bastard. Dirty. It's too early in the morning for your shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dude, come on. Help a brother out. 
Okay. Now I'm gonna have one body. Put a little more thread on it. Oh well. I mentioned tight wraps. <laughs> Okay, so we'll wait, finish this guy off. So when I have all these in line, <clears throat> I've just been doing all these in a row. Like I'll just take this off and do the next one. Just for production's sake. If it's even productive, who knows? Stupid thread. Okay, so then we got, you see that? Yeah, cool. All right, here we go. So here goes to the rest of the body. So when you cut those flat, I've just been cutting them at an angle. It actually makes the eyeballs look kind of cool. I'm gonna do it now before all the other shit's in the way. Dookie dook. So I pretty much always start my bodies on the hook right at the eye, or at the eye, right at the tip of the hook right there. So it gives it just even that much more of a hook gap. This is a pretty good hook. Oh, I didn't even say that. This is on a number six uh, Umqua Scud hook. Okay. We're rolling, rolling. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay, and so we'll take our cutter again and use one millimeter foam. So press that. We'll get that. Most people use like normal size crystal flash. I actually prefer the midge midge size crystal flash. I like it smaller. Okay, get that tied in. One millimeter foam. Alright. Take some deer hair. Ooh. That's going with Antron today. We're going to go bright. Get your loop all. Oh. All right, and this is where we'll put in our hot spot as well. Let it stick to yellow. You can use whatever color you want. Trim, trim. This is one millimeter foam as well. Betcha. Okay. Where am I? So my hopper legs, I use red for the back and then a copper or an amber color for my front legs. But I mean pink school, I mean they're just fish. Tend to overthink. Because let's be honest, all the fish sees is what's below or what's looking up. Some medium sized sexy floss. 
All right, we're almost done. This is pretty simple. Okay, then I'll pull all that back up. Go right behind where we cut, cut. That's where we want to make our last taper. Give those eyeballs you know, real popping. Oops. Make sure your real skins. <laughs> Sitting pretty. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Yeah, pull that over. So this is when I trim off the excess foam for that one millimeter from the wing. Put your hot spot over. Sorry, this fly actually doesn't really take that long to tie. It's just <laughs> demonstrating it's taking a little longer than I thought. So I just take sexy floss legs, same with the my red legs. One full strand, split it, cut it in half. This is how you just make sure that both all your legs are the exact same. Easy method. And that's about it. If you were watching this video expecting me to show you how I do my legs. <laughs> Some of you know, some of you have caught me on. But that's it. That is a very simple hopper. It should float really well. I don't know if, it, if any of you saw the pictures I posted, but the 0.5 millimeter wing versus the one millimeter wing. Yeah, I like my ass hanging in the water a little bit more too, but I also fish a lot of droppers. So, catch 22. Uh, I cut my front ones just a little bit shorter. And that's it. That is it. Yeah. And this is going to fish pretty well. Double barrel. Have a freaking awesome day.